each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Help me! The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. What's going on? This is Day 6, Mankind Divided Part 5. So we're going to head down to the base right now. I don't know if you remember from the last episode, we had a bunch of shit going on. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. But uh, we're going to head down here and um, see what's up in a fight. Send me to check on my progress. Really, I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So, well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like the bomb's timing mechanism. And get this. It's a Stanic. A Stanic? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanik, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. Alright, we're gonna go check out this building. Go <sighs> quick, like. Oh, hmm. His fit, bitch? I'm not even joking. But we're getting over to the building, and uh, there's probably going to be a cut because I got to go through a lot of bullshit, so uh, probably talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, we're outside of the uh, apartment. Sorry, I just had to check this out because it's a subway station, but it looked pretty hey, I'm neat. The funny guy, not you. So, we're going to head in here and look around for a little bit. Top floor, so that's laundry room. I think. So we're gonna head up real quick like. Well exactly, I'll just sneak through a window and let's see if this guy keeps his doors unlocked, which is highly unlikely. And he is, okay, so it's someone broke in. I'll keep my gun now just in case. Seems to be no one, so. Alright, I'm gonna look around for a little bit. I'll probably get back to you guys in a bit. What did I say? Okay, so I kinda climbed through a vent. That's the only way. Yeah, there's, there's this vent right here at a. No, no, close. Can't put there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. 
So yeah, I, my demos wasn't recording the entire time. That's my fault. Basically, hacked into this computer and he ended up getting kidnapped. So I don't have to go look for him right now. But someone tried to kill me with gas, as you just saw right now. Gas still in there. Close them, you. So. Smiley, static wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb making equipment and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding. I also found out where he might be. The red light district. At a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. Uh, red Red Queen District, he said, or Red Light District? I did not hear that, so I'll just say Red Light. Red Light, yeah, let's go Red Light. There's a lot of lights. Oh boy. So, some water. Alright. So this dialogue up ahead, I'll do my usual quiet routine. I'll stay quiet for this. I have rights. You cannot detain me without charging me. This I know. And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Y you have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You are right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites, and, and now, now, they have taken her. You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear! Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he...? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well-known and respected. Radish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison, so we strike a deal. Deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. What do you know about these friends of hers? 
Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the ascension, whatever that is. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goons showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter, Allison, ex-military, EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him, see what he knows. Good, let me know what happens. All right, so we're gonna go find the bomb maker's daughter. Oh, mm. yeah, we're gonna go find. I'm not too sure if I stop and go get supplies real quick, like, but I'm gonna go do that and I'll probably get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, so we're at um, the apartment, but I grabbed some um, that like multi tools and crafting parts for stuff and a lot more stun thingies I could use on guys. I bought some extra ones. Yeah, I go through a window. I'm in Miller's apartment. The man keeps a tight ship. What do you expect? He's former SAS. Military life will make a neat freak out of anyone. If he's got secrets in there, Adam, they'll be well hidden. Everyone's got to tell. I just need to know more about him to understand his. Alright, so... Well, I feel like an idiot. I spent like 30 minutes looking around. I think I got something, Alex. For... Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his okay. second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? I haven't checked it yet. But I'm starting to think the only way we'll learn more is by hearing all of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I'm just gonna scan through these later on, but you guys can pause this, pause it if you want to read them, which I usually do after I'm done. Like when I say I'm gonna cut through something, I usually stop recording and read through shit real quick. Like I usually do that with my past stuff for Elder Scrolls and Fallout, but I haven't done nothing for Fallout in a long time, and I really need to do something for that game. Well, PS4 mods are coming out somewhere this year, hopefully. I right, have this thing. Taking a while. There we go. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Oh. There we go. Oh, replace that. What's that for? Uh, so I'll probably look around a little bit more, see if I can find any supplies I could use, and I'll 
probably get back to you guys in a bit or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna look around. But talk to you guys in a bit. So we're gonna go talk to this Alex chick and see what she wants. Some dialogue I'll stay quiet for. Alex, you here? Hey, thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman sometimes. You said you got something on VersaLife. Yeah, a couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anique Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand Versa Life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Tell me more about this researcher. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things. And somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. Nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is, hell even what he is. You get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair for a while if anyone catches you. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. Alright, so we're back at the base area to go into this guy's office and see what's up. There we go. Can I close that? There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. 
but holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to go <coughs> several me. places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. Oh, boy. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when he's done. Good luck, Adam. That's eerie as shit. I would not trust this. Uh oh. This is different. I don't sound like Miller. <laughs> So this is the conference room you see at the beginning of the game, which I didn't record. Just after like the tutorial mission for Dubai, which my dummy didn't, my dumb ass self did not record. We uh, go through here. Oh, sure looks around first. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna suck at this new type of hacking. Yep. Yeah, oh. Yep, told you. There we go. <laughs> All types are bad. Okay, so I gotta find more of these probably. If I do, I'll probably cut some of that and I'll probably get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, so this is the last one right here. Unless you throw like a cheeky boss just throw another one. There we go. There wasn't much in here. There's just a lot of security cameras and a lot of other bullshit. You guys didn't miss much. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. No, oh, boy. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Call Hong Kong Alpha One Zero priority message. That's interesting. So there's one of my. Oh, that's like Miller quiet. wants to see a report on the break in. What break in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be onto him. Then it's time for him to use the Orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker... Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And call. Oh, ready. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. I'll see what I can do. Later, man. Alrighty, then. Uh-oh. Oh, stay quiet Adam. for this little bit. What are you doing in here?
Suppose I could ask you the same thing, Delara. I'm worried about Vince Black, the head of our organized crime division. I was leaving a message for Director Miller asking if he's heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only he never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Sorry, the stupid ass thing video ended because it was more than 15 minutes and uh, she sure. basically asked me to I look for her buddy. For you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Mm, I think we'll just get out of here. So this is probably the end of the video, guys. I All hope right. you guys enjoyed it. Well, oh. I'll let you know if I find out anything about Black. Thanks. Next episode should be coming out in the next two, three days, give or take. And um, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, see you guys in the next one.